Today I'm going to be sharing the new P settings that I have put on my Viral Eagle 1. I'm going to be explaining why I have done this also. This also applies to 0 10 ox owners, but also it applies to anybody who has P settings on their electric scooter. You will find some of the tips in this video. And also at the time of this video actually going live, Varla are having a really good sale. You can get up to 250 euro off a Varla Eagle 1, 500 euro off two Varla Eagle 1s, and on the Varla Pegasus, you can get 150 euro off one of them or 300 euro off two of them. And then for the first 100 customers, you can get a free charger on the Eagle 1 or a free handlebar bag for the Pegasus. So all those links are below and that sale, as far as I'm aware, finishes on November 30th. Okay, so the P settings that I have changed, I did do a video when I originally got my very first Eagle One. This is actually my replacement Eagle One and I explain why, what happened, how did I end up with replacement Eagle One. And to cut long story short, well, my first Eagle One, the controller blew on that and I began to think, how could I have possibly avoided that from happening? Could I have changed some settings to generate less heat? So that's the purpose of this actual video. So I'm gonna talk about now the settings that I have changed, but all the settings are actually linked right below in the description. So the first setting that I changed was actually the regenerative braking. I had the regenerative braking originally on my Eagle One set at like level two, which is not even too harsh. But of course, regenerative braking basically surges power back into the battery and it generates more heat within the controllers. And on the day when the first Eagle One blew its controller, I was going quite fast, like 55 kilometers an hour, dual motor, turbo, 100%, and I was stopping quite regularly. And the heat, basically, I, I'm gathering, caused that controller to actually blow. The settings for that regenerative braking is now completely off altogether. So it's up to you if you want to do this and a small disclaimer, nothing in this video is guaranteed. It's just my own thoughts on what I could have done to possibly prevent a controller from actually blowing, which is quite common on a lot of electric scooters out there. And besides the Varla Eagle one does have front hydraulic brakes and rear hydraulic brakes. So you shouldn't have a problem stopping at all. They're quite good brakes, zoom, hydraulic, no issues. And again, the brake pads are quite easy to change on them. Okay, let's talk about another setting that I have changed. That is the acceleration. Of course, a lot of people would like, you know, really fast acceleration, particularly if you're at a junction and if you want to get ahead of the cars from a safety standpoint. But I have actually changed the acceleration setting. I have it on level one. Now on single motor, it pulls off obviously quite slowly, but on dual motor, it pulls off a bit slowly, but then it kicks in. Uh, when you have those dual motors engaged. So of course this generates less heat and it's less harsh on the battery. Now of course another setting, this is the last setting that I have changed. Some people might say, why did I even do it? Well, the reason why I did it is because to reduce the strain on the battery and the strain on the controllers, like I said, I was going full speed that day. I have basically changed the P setting from 100% to 90 percent and the top speed that i'm getting now on this second replacement eagle one is around 52 kilometers an hour compared to 62 65 kilometers an hour when that setting is actually at 100 percent i'm not one for going crazy high speeds constantly i think 50 kilometers an hour 52 give or take i'm more than comfortable doing that speed and anything over that to be honest it, i just don't feel really safe enough to go those types of speeds, particularly on local roads where I am. So that's pretty much it. Again, all peak settings are linked below. Have a look at my other Varla Eagle 1 videos that I've done, and I'll talk to you in the next video.